<laughs> That's okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> why would you think? Why is it? Why? What is it about being submissive that you think that women have a hard time with? Well, I think um, it's difficult for a lot of people, men too, when they have to be submissive, when they're in that role. See, dominant and submissive are roles and functions. I don't think it's it's, it's particularly gender specific so because men should be men. Uh, I'm talking about the concept of submission, submission and dominance. Both genders should, should, should have an interplay with both of those dynamics. Like there are times in a man's life, for example, when he's being raised by his mother, he's submissive to yes. a woman. Absolutely. The woman is the first dominant person for both male and female on this planet, in this realm, because we come through a woman. She's the one that's instructing us, that's feeding us, that's guiding us. So a man learns how to be submissive from because he he has to, uh, if he's um, a good child and he's obeying his mother. But that prepares him to be a leader, though, because see, he's a follower. He following his mom. He's submissive to his mother. Now, when he has a family, his wife and his children will follow him. So everyone gets their turn. So the woman and the woman who's raised by a woman, she will be submitting to her mom, who's a woman, and also her father, who's in the household. When she grows up and have her own family, she's going to be leading her sons, and she'll be she'll be dominant over them. So, so, but, so submissive is not just male, female. It can be. It can be either one. It can be either one, or it can be family, right. family relationships, a child, a mother, right, a friend. A, right, group, but like, a, a group of people, there may be a leader and there's a subservient leader. Or, right. But I do want to go specific to your we, example but my in example, a household. In a household. In a household, just like every organization, okay, there's whether it be a corporation or a small business, there has to be leadership. Correct. Everybody Correct. can't lead, everybody can't be the final say because then stagnation would take place and productivity would slow because decisions would not be able to be made. When you have one saying, I don't want to do that, and other saying, we do, we do. So you have to have one person as the designated leader for, for proper functionality, for efficient and progressive functionality. Now, that doesn't mean that the leader don't consult the submissive. Yes. He can consult the submissive so he can get the best ideas on the table. And he may not have the best idea. The submissive person may have the best idea. But the function of the person in leadership is their job to do the lead. Okay, so this, so I'm, I want to pay devil's advocate for just a second. Okay, you don't have to pay devil's advocate. He's doing a good job on yeah, his own. Yeah, he's doing a good job on his own. Well, <laughs> you can advocate for the angels. I'm a, I'm a advocate, yeah. Well, I'm always going to advocate for the angels, but I'm going to play his role for a second yeah. because he's so good at it. You know, well, we are, we, and do, we good we do, at, and on, we good at uh, playing exactly. right along with them, right? And on this show, we do like to explore everyone's perspectives, including the devil's. Yeah, we right, also he got a perspective. I will talk about that too. It might be a whole show. We say the devil's perspective. <laughs> we'll talk about a lot of stuff that's going on and find out what is the devil up to, and just kind of speculate. Uh, and well, some stuff we know for sure, but we can speculate on what our open enemies' perspectives might be, which will give us some insight on what's going on. Yes. But go ahead. So we have so many different terms of what we describe what a right. relationship is. And as you were saying, there's someone in the in the household that's going to have the leader position. But it, and I know we know that individuals choose what is good for their family. You know, we hear people say we're partners. We're right. partners. You know, I don't uh, we don't have any gender roles in this household. We are, we get in here, we do everything. So is that truly one being a leader or? Yeah, that, one still is the dominant. See, how can that be? If easily, we, because you can easily see it. When, when you have a person who says something like that, right? Um, somebody is taking on the dominant role. If we were to quantify the amount of decisions being made and the amount of ideas being presented, and who, who bring what to the table to make it happen. We'll discover in analyzing those facts that someone is having a more dominant role in this family. Okay. Because everyone is not contributing exactly the same, same, quantitatively. Now, even qualitatively, you might have value 
equal value, right? Mm -hmm. But there are that that's the case anyway. Like the masculine and, and feminine roles should be equally uh, equal in quality, you know, and mean just as much okay. to each other. But what there's going to be a dominant uh, leader in every situation. Like there's a concept, leadership emerges. Yeah. And there's always a 5%, 10 and 85. Mm -hmm. So some 5% of the population uh, is going to know better than the rest of them. And they're clear about the mission. 10% is going to know too, but they're going to try to take advantage of the rest, which is the 85%. You're going to find that in every situation when you're dealing with um, groups of people. So it's, a, it's, a very, it's a very interesting uh, conversation that can go through very, different aspects. It's just very interesting how society tells us as women that being submissive is a not so good thing. And it doesn't mean inferior. It no. doesn't mean in God's sight. And, you know, I'm not being religious here, but it does whatever you say or call your higher power. It doesn't mean that you're inferior, that you're inadequate, and that you are not important in decision making, in leadership. We know that sometimes men fall off and women have to step step up. So, right. so it just is what it is. You know, but yeah, that's right. And so it just is what it is, you know. But yeah, that's right. And so in the in the household structure, the male, the man has a natural male and female have a natural roles. Natural and so body. naturally, naturally, a woman's physical body is made to receive a man. He gets on top of her, even the production of children, the reproduction. He dominates her body, he enters her. She don't enter him. She shouldn't be. Well, well no, I know some well, of y'all. Some of y'all is into that, but we, we know. no judgment here. This is a no judgment, no judgment zone. zone. So if some, but 